And if you know one person with Alzheimer's, you know one person with Alzheimer's. Jay Reinstein was diagnosed with Alzheimer's in 2018 at just 57 years old. He struggles with short-term memory loss, but has stayed active, including in his advocacy on behalf of other patients, supporting medical trials that could extend his life. Last summer, the FDA approved Lakembi, a drug which helps slow cognitive decline in early-stage Alzheimer's patients. I think that the more approved drugs through the FDA it's going to get more companies throughout the world saying, hey, we're making some, we're making some headway here. We're going to keep developing. This newest research out of UNC showing promise in further addressing the disease, specifically amyloid plaque, which plays a role in causing symptoms. They actually form structures that look like this pasta. They are twisting, and not only they're twisting, they're twisting in one way specifically. Uh, and those twisted structures are what creates a lot of the toxicity. Dr. Anit Freeman's team believes that's vital in creating treatments. By our ability to understand maybe for each patient what type of structures they would have there, what type of amyloid plaques they would have in the brain, we can more tailor therapies that would be suitable for them. That can range from heat therapy to injectable medicine. If we can make them um, untwist like that, are we able to uh, use the fact that they can curl like that and even hide certain drugs within them? While these findings are still regarded as preliminary, Reinstein says the momentum is positive. There's no question it gives me hope. It gives millions of people hope. In Chapel Hill, I'm Michael Perchik, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.